So, in last class we have discussed about the about the rule of quantum quantization rule of So actually in, in 1916 after Bohr model Wilson and Summerfield so they try to find out that since Bohr model was not able to explain fine structure of, of uh, hydrogen atom, fine spectral uh, lines of uh, hydrogen atom. So, they realize that we need more quantization to get more energy level. So, there will be more transition and number of lines spectral lines will be more. Okay. So, then they set general rule for quantization uh, that specific quantization rules one was the Planck's hypothesis energy quantization and another was the Bohr quantization that was angular momentum quantization. So, now they set a rule that for any system any particular system the system is described by coordinate. Now, if coordinates are periodic function of time, then there will then there will be a quantization of that coordinate. Okay. So, general coordinate if you consider P and Q. So, P for P and Q one is momentum and mo momentum coordinate and another is uh, space coordinate. So, so they found that this P Q D Q over a closed integration that will be quantized in each. Okay. So, that was the general general quantization rule they set and uh, from this rule I have shown you in last class that one can get the Planck's quantization E equal to N H nu as well as one can get Bohr quantization L equal to N H cos. Okay. So, from here so uh, whatever existing contraction uh, condition was uh, was used, so that was derived from the general quantum condition, and it is it's it's called action integral also, action integral. Okay. So. So, after this uh, Schumer field that we call Schumer field model of atomic structure, Schumer field model or sometimes called Bohr Schumer field model. atomic structure okay, or Schumer field model whatever this generally in either Schumer field model or Bohr Schumer field model. So, same thing. So, uh, Schumer field point out that 
a thin bore model that uh, circular orbit was considered, but circular orbit is not the right consideration it should be elliptical because uh, in any central force means when when particle any particle is 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 attractive force towards a towards a fixed point say center so then this motion of this particle it has to be elliptical so we know that planet motion around the sun okay in solar system that is uh, um, that is under gravitational force and that is proportional to 1 by r square distance between uh, sun and planet. So, that was the gravitational force and uh, in this case electron and nucleus here this attractive force is proportional to also it is proportional to r square. So, because of this central force force is always uh, acting towards the center towards a fixed point. So, so, because of this force planet motion planet orbit or elliptical. So, here also it should be elliptical. So, he considered elliptical orbit for for electron rotating in a uh, around the around the nucleus. So, for circular motion circular motion so we, we use two coordinate r theta but for circular motion r is constant so only variable is theta only variable is theta so means 1 degrees of freedom, but in case of ellipse in case of ellipse say if it is center generally it has to focus. So, one of them can be taken as a center. So, then we can describe the motion of the particle using two coordinates again r and theta, but now in this case this r and theta both are variable. So, we have now two variable one is angle and another is is uh, radial radius radial coordinate. So, now we have two variable r and theta and both are periodic with time. So, two quantization quantum con quantization should exist. So, starting using that quantum quantization rule that p q d q equal to n h. So, now our coordinate is r and theta r and theta. So, q q basically r and theta. So, one rule can be p theta t theta equal to n h and another can be p r d r equal to n h. Okay. So, generally here I write n q. So, here I can write n theta and here I can write n r. Okay. So, this from here. So, here angle varies from 0 to 2 pi. So, you will get basically p theta equal to here uh, p theta is constant basically. So, 
uh, d theta 0 to 2 pi it will give 2 pi. So, divide by 2 pi I will get n theta h cos. Okay. So, it is exactly same as the board quantization p theta angular momentum. So, it is a it is a similar to L equal to n h cross whatever board quantization was used okay, this is basically same. Okay. So, now from this quantization it is it is slightly lengthy calculation. So, I will avoid calculation, okay, but you should try to calculate. So, this Bohr model, uh, Bohr schumacher field model, this calculation is quite lengthy, but it is it is uh, simple. So, you should try, but I will just follow logic. Logically, I will try to develop. So, here in this case, if I uh, it is it is radial, it is coordinate is radial coordinate okay, r. So, in case of Bohr, we have seen that r equal to Bohr radius in hydrogen atom. What we have seen? We have seen n square h cross square divided by mu or m you can write. So, m z e square. Okay. So, this I can write just n square here j d equal to 1 then it will be for hydrogen atom and j d is greater than 1. So, that is hydrogen like atom. So, if j d equal to 1. So, whatever e square square by mu e square. So, that is the board radius board radius. So, if I can if I write it a h that board radius a h. So, divide by z. Okay. So, r is is n square a h by z from here you can write. So, here following the similarity, but here in case of Bohr there was a only r was constant for a particular orbit. But here for a particular orbit in case of ellipse it will have a uh, major axis and it will have minor axis right. So, one is a one is b major axis and minor axis a is major axis and b is minor axis. So, here this a just following the similarity say so a is basically it comes exactly this one a h by z okay. and b comes a h by z in it is uh, so really I will I will use notation from um, books whatever I have referred. So, generally this one in 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 theta. So, generally people write k h cross later on again we will change k to l small l. So, I will come later. So, here basically just we have replaced n phi to k ok k also quantum number n phi quantum number k also quantum number this is the same just we have uh, replace by another letter. So, it is uh, we write n k ok. So, b will be this. So, after after calculation one will get this a and b. So, that I have taken here from just taking the similarity from, from Bohr radius. So, I have written. So, if so if we accept this one. So, here and what is n? n is basically
n is basically uh, that is uh, n r n is basically n r plus n phi n theta n r plus n theta ok. So, now n theta I am writing k ok. So, n r is called n r is called radial quantum number radial quantum number quantum number ok radial quantum number and k is called azimuthal quantum number or angular quantum number azimuthal or angular quantum number azimuthal quantum number ok. So, now in R plus k, so this is basically called uh, principal quantum number. Principal quantum number. So, that is what this in case of Bohr here. So, that whatever this n that is the principal quantum number n value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ok integer value. Uh, so, now here that n is basically uh, summation of, of radial quantum number plus azimuthal quantum number ok. So, that n is this n ok. So, so what we are seeing here, so if I write a by b equal to I am getting a by b equal to n by k. So, a is greater than equal to b because in ellipse b is less than equal to a or a is greater than equal to b. So, n is n is greater than equal to k n is greater than equal to k. So, for a particular value of n for a particular value of n. So, what will be the k value k value again it is quantum number it is integer. So, k value will be k value uh, so n can be equal n is greater than equal to k ok because a is greater than equal to b. So, n value is 1, 2, 3, 4 ok. So, k value will be also uh, it will start from 1. So, n value minimum value is 1. So, then for n equal to 1 k will be 1 k equal to 0 is not allowed k equal to 0 is not allowed ok. Then if k equal to 0 then you will see k equal to 0 then you will see b equal to 0. That means, b equal to 0 so only a will be there. So, motion will be along the a axis passing through the nucleus passing through the nucleus. So, that is impossible. So, that is not feasible. So, that is why k equal to 0 is not allowed. So, k value can take for a particular n value. So, it can take up to n value. So, if n equal to say n, so then k value will be 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n. Okay. So, for a particular n value, we will have how many number of k value in n number of k value will get ok. So, n equal to 1 n equal to 1. So, it will represent a it will represent a, a, a uh, orbit elliptical orbit ok 
and for that n value c n equal to 1, n equal to say n equal to 2. So, then there will be 2 k, k value 1 and 2 means again that n equal to 2 whatever the another elliptical path so that will have that will have uh, sub orbit basically for different k value. So, n equal to 2 n equal to 2 will get k equal to k equal to 1 k equal to 1. So, it will represent a orbit sub orbit and another sub orbit will be n equal to 2 k equal to 2. Okay. Now, question is now this sub orbit or sub cell or orbitals whether they will have different energy or they will have same energy. So, that is the question if they are same then we will feel again same difficulties that number of spectral lines will not be more whatever in case of hydrogen from Bohr model whatever the number of spectral lines uh, we will get from elliptical from Sommerfeld model also number of spectral lines will be same. Okay. So, let us see this uh, uh, what about the energy whether it depends on k or not. So, so for energy again this is a long calculation. So, I will not I will not do so. So, if you calculate total energy of the of the electron in a in a uh, elliptical orbit. So, then that E will be your kinetic energy plus potential energy. So, now kinetic energy will have two part one is radial part and another is angular part. Okay. So, linear momentum and another is another is um, angular momentum. So, so kinetic energy will have two part. So, one is P r square by 2 m okay. so, linear momentum another is P theta angular momentum P theta square by 2 m r square okay. r square. So, that will be the uh, energy for angular momentum and your potential energy plus V. So, in our case we we know the potential energy for uh, nucleus and electron that is minus minus already we have calculated earlier minus j d square by r ok j d square by r and starting from this energy if you calculate as I told this calculation is slightly longer. So, I will not calculate. So, what I will get? So, I will get this E equal to the same expression whatever we got from Bohr model m uh, or mu m z square e to the power 4 divided by n square e square square. Okay. So, same energy expression whatever we got from Bohr. So, this elliptical orbit also this energy we get same. Okay. So, it depends energy depends only on only on n not on not on k. So, what does it mean? So, this whatever I told this sub orbits or orbital sub cells they will have the for a particular n value whatever the orbitals or sub cells their energy will be same. Okay. 
so their energy will be same. Uh, so, in, in modal language in quantum mechanics language is called states are degenerate, states are degenerate. Okay. So, uh, so, that means, whatever the energy levels from Bohr model, okay. now energy levels are, are more, energy levels are more, energy levels are more, this is one level. So, here basically two level, two level, but with same energy. Here n equal to three, it will be three energy level, but with same energy. Okay. So, so for a hydrogen atom, for a hydrogen atom, H alpha line, H alpha line, as I told. It is composed of five lines. After this Bohr modification of of, of this uh, of this orbit, considering the elliptical orbit, that also didn't help to 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 explain the fine structure of this hydrogen atoms. Okay, so then. Sommerfield itself he pointed out that when so there is a difference between difference in motion of, of, of electron in a circular orbit and elliptical orbit. So, in circular orbit in circular orbit in circular orbit basically So, distance between the electron and the nucleus it is all the time it is same, okay. all the time it is same, but in case of ellipse in case of okay. in case of ellipse so, here is the nucleus and this is the electron. So, distance between the nucleus and the electrons it is it's, uh, it's, it's varies with time, okay. it varies with time. So, at the some point it is very close to the nucleus and at some point it is very far away from the nucleus. So, its velocity will change its velocity is not constant, here it is constant, but its velocity will change with time depending on the distance between these two. Okay. And when it is very close to the nucleus, so its velocity will be very high, it may be comparable to the, it is close to the um, light velocity. Okay. So, if velocity is high, then whatever so far we have considered that is a electron we have considered as a as a non relativistic particle, okay. but if velocity high then non relativistic consideration is no longer valid. So, one has to consider the uh, relativistic uh, concept or as a relativistic particle we have to treat electron. So, then he introduced that uh, this uh, uh, relativistic uh, energy, consider relativistic energy of the electron, and there basically in relativistic uh, in relativity, there you know this mass it changes with the velocity. What is the relation? m equal to m zero by square root of one minus v square by c square. Okay. So, this m 0 is the rest mass and m is, is uh, relativistic mass, it is higher than the always it is higher than the uh, 
than the m0 it depends on the velocity v if velocity is very high if velocity is if v equal to it so when it is at rest v equal to 0 so this m equal to m0 when v is comparable to the to the c okay so then it's you see v equal to c it's uh, it's, uh, it's it will be infinity m0 by 0 its uh, mass will be infinity okay but it cannot its velocity cannot be equal to c but it can be close to the c so so all the time now m is greater than equal to m0 right so its mass will increase so mass will increase so, because of change of mass when it is rotating in a elliptical orbit, its mass is changing, its mass is changing. Okay. So, uh, so, considering this electron, its relativistic motion in a orbit, okay, then he recalculated. Uh, Bo Schumer field recalculated this energy of the system and he found that now it depends on. So, again this we are avoiding the calculation. So, it is lengthy calculation. So, he found that now energy depends on k and this expression is E n k equal to. Uh, so, I am writing minus E n. Okay that means its negative value now uh, if en is this en is this okay if i take out negative here so i can put negative here so it will help me to explain okay so now en is basically this so i have introduced negative sign here so this will be equal to 1 plus uh, i think uh, z square alpha square divide by uh, n square uh, n by k minus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 ok. So, that will be the expression considering the uh, considering the um, relativistic mass or relativistic concept. So, so now you can see the energy depends on k. So for a particular value of n, for a particular value of n, okay. So this, when k is higher, k is higher, k is higher, okay. Because for a particular n k value will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, for k equal to 1, whatever this value I will get, k equal to 2, this value will be half. So, k is higher, this value will be lower. Okay. So, that means this value will be lower. Okay. Okay. So, 1 plus this, it will, this value will be lower. So, so n is multiplied with that and minus sign. So, lower means so it will be more negative. So, k is higher, k is higher, it will be less negative because this is smaller, k is higher, this value is lower. So, overall this value will be lower, okay. so negative value will be is lower means it will be less negative and k value is smaller. So, this value will be higher. Okay. So, this value will be higher. So, it will negative sign so it is it will be more negative. So, your energy level say whatever n value. Okay. Now, for k value, so lower k say 1, then 2, then 3. So, it will be it will be lower. Okay. So, always this value is more negative, always more negative because something is added with 1. So, but for uh, for lower k value it will be 
this it will be more lower okay and k is increasing so it's it's it, it will be less negative so it will be so but all the time e n k is is uh, value is always lower than the e n value okay so now energy levels are splitted so if this is i have taken say n equal to 3 so now it is split into three lines so now three energy level each level will be splitted accordingly and we will get more transition. So, now it can explain the fine structure of the of the um, fine structure of the uh, hydrogen atom. So, I will continue in next class. Uh, thank you.